Well, last week, the state's emergency shelter system reached capacity. Today, a new effort is underway to help transition those migrants to a self-sustaining life. NBC 10's Bianca Beltran is live in the newsroom with details. Bianca. And Corey, throughout our reporting, migrants staying in the shelters have told us that they want to work, but the biggest barrier they're facing is the process of getting the permits that would allow them to do so. And these clinics aim to help as many as 1,000 people a week by expediting the process so they can take those first steps towards moving out of emergency shelter. Thousands of migrant families are in emergency shelters throughout Massachusetts. Many of them are waiting for the opportunity to work. There's a woman that it was a, a nurse in her country. Now she's in a in a cleaning cleaning houses until she get her certification. But she was eager to work. Gladys Vega leads La Colaborativa in Chelsea, which has been helping migrants arriving in Massachusetts. When they wa have work authorization, immediately you can connect them to jobs. But that's not the reality of everyone that we see. Work authorizations can take months to process. That's why the state is hosting clinics this week with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security that will allow applicants to have their applications reviewed by USCIS staff and have their biometric screenings done on site. Parts of the process that are usually done separately and take several weeks each. Another barrier, the cost of applying for work authorization is over $400. Migrants staying in state shelters will be able to have that fee waived. Governor Mara Healy said the whole process will be expedited to take just a few weeks. We expect to get hundreds through the door there. Um, you know, as I said from the beginning, getting people working is absolutely imperative. There are jobs available, people want to work, and it's a way to get people out of shelter. Uh, but we need help from the federal government, and that's why I asked the Biden administration to get on the ground here to work with us. Now, in addition to taking all of those steps and making them available in one place, the state is organizing appointments and providing transportation from shelter sites to the clinic in Middlesex County. And because of the high demand, the clinic will be extended to another week beginning on November 27th to accommodate more of those shelter residents. In the newsroom, I'm Bianca Beltran, NBC10 Boston.